In this video, we are going to discuss about the place value and the value of a decimal number. Also, we are going to discuss about how to read and write decimal numbers through 10,000. Firstly, how do we identify the place value and the value of a decimal number? What are decimals? Decimals are set of numbers written together with a dot in between them that is called a decimal point. Place value. Place value in mathematics describes the position of a digit in a number. Example, let us identify the position of, of a digit in a number 51 and 2387 ten thousands. It will be very easy for us to determine the place value of a digit if we knew this chart, the place value chart. If not, then let's discuss its different parts. In this part here, we can see the different place value that a certain digit occupies. And here, we can see the corresponding value of each place value. To get the value of a digit, we simply multiply the digit with its corresponding place value. For example, if we want to get the value of 1, since it occupies the 1's place, so we are going to multiply 1 with 1 1's, that is equal to 1. And to get the value of 5, since it occupies the tenths place, so we are going to multiply it by tenths. So 5 times tenths, that is equal to 50. And here we can see the different digits which are put together to form a certain number. The dot that we can see here represents our decimal point. And as we go to the left of our decimal point, we can see the set of whole numbers. If we go to the right of our decimal point, we can see the different sets of our decimal numbers. Decimal numbers are less than 1. Now, let's identify each place value. So let's begin with our decimal point. As we go to the left of our decimal point, we can see here again our whole numbers. And our whole numbers start with one's place. The first uh, place value going to the left of our decimal point. Next to the one's place is the tenths place or the second place from the left of our decimal point. Next, it is followed by the hundreds place or the third place from the left of our decimal point. Then, followed by the thousands place, ten thousands place, and the hundred thousands place. As you can see, as we go farther to the left of our decimal points, the number here are multiplied ten times greater from the previous number. Let's go to our decimal numbers. Unlike with the whole numbers, decimal numbers starts with tenths. It does not begin with ones or ones place. Then it is followed by the hundreds, then thousands. Fourth place is the ten thousands place. Fifth place is the hundred thousands place. And the sixth place going to the right of our decimal point is the millionth place. As you can see, the whole numbers ends with S for their place value. S, another S, S. While our decimal numbers or the place value of our decimal numbers ends with PHS. So again, take note that when we write the place value of our number, 
for the whole number, it will end with S. And for the decimal numbers, it, it ends with THS. Now, let's try to answer this. Example, in 51 and 2,387 ten thousands, determine the place value and the value of the following digits. So, our digits are 2, 7, 8, and 3. I'll give you time to identify their place value and their value. So, you may pause this video if you need a longer time. Okay, let's check if your answers are correct. In 51 and 2,387 ten thousands, what is the place value of 2? Since 2 is the first digit to the right from our decimal point, so it takes the tenths place. And to get the value of 2, we are going to multiply the digit 2 with its corresponding place value, which is 1 ten. 2 times 1 ten is equal to 2 tenths. Next, how about 7? Seven? 7 takes the 4th place from the right of the decimal point. So it is tens, hundreds, thousand, ten thousands place and to get its value we are going to multiply seven with one ten thousands seven times one ten thousands that is equal to seven ten thousands next how about eight eight is in the third place from the right of our decimal point and it takes the tens hundreds thousands place and to get the value of 8, we are going to multiply it with 1,000. So 8 times 1,000, that is equal to 8,000. Lastly, how about 3? Three? 3 here occupies the second place or from the right of our decimal point. So it is from tens, hundreds. So to get the value of 3, we are going to multiply it with its corresponding place value, which is 100. So 3 times 100, that is equal to 300. How about this one? Activity A. Give the place value of the underlying digit. Number 1. 253,000. What is the place value of 2? It is tenths. Number 2. 1 and 726 thousands. What is the place value of 6? That is thousands. Number 3. 2 and 75 hundredths. What is the place value of 2? That is ones. Number four, five and one hundred twenty-three thousands. What is the place value of two? That is hundreds. Number five, seven and two thousand three hundred sixty-five ten thousands. What is the place value of five? That is ten thousands. For activity B. Read and understand the statements carefully. I will give you time to give your answer. If you need a longer time, you may pause this video. Okay, let's check if your answers are correct. Number one, in 32 and 645 thousands, what digit is in the hundreds place? So, hundreds place occupies the second place from the right of our decimal point, and that digit is 4. Number 2, what is the place value of digit 4 
in 461,000. So, 4 occupies the first place from the right of our decimal point, and that is the tenth place. Number 3, what is the value of 2 in 10 and 3,562 So, to answer this one, so we need first to identify the place value of, our, of the digit 2 and it occupies the fourth place from the right of our decimal point. So that's tens, hundreds, thousands, ten thousands place. Now we are going to multiply 2 by its corresponding place value which is ten thousands. So 2 times 1 ten thousands that is equal to to ten thousands. Now I hope that you understand how to identify the place value and the value of the digit in a given decimal number. Let's proceed now to another part of our lesson which is reading and writing decimal numbers. How do we read and write decimal numbers? In reading decimal numbers, there are four steps that we need to consider. First, read the digits to the left of the decimal point as a whole number. Second, use AND to represent the decimal point. Third, read the digits to the right of the decimal point as a whole number. And lastly, mention the place of value of the last digit on the right of our decimal point. Example, this is our number. So to read this one, first we are going to read the digits from the left of our decimal point as a whole number. That is 51. Then for the decimal point, we will use and then, for the digits to the right of our decimal point, we will read it as a whole number, 23. Lastly, we are going to mention the place of value of the last digit to the right of our decimal point, and that is hundreds. So, therefore, this number is read as 51 and 23 hundreds. Take note that if there are no whole numbers in front or on the left of the decimal value, you do not say the word end. Example, in this number, we don't need to say 0 and 238 thousands. That is wrong. We simply say or we simply read this part here, which is 238 thousands. Now, let's try this. A. Read the decimal numbers, then write the decimals in words. So, we have three numbers. I will give you time to write your answers. If you need a longer time, you may pause this video. Alright, let's check if your answers are correct. Number one, that is... 1 and 7 tenths. Number 2, that is 21 and 497 thousandths. Number 3, that is 7 and 9 hundredths. For activity B, write the following decimals in figures. Okay, I will give you time to write your answer. If you need a longer time, you may pause this video. Let's check if your answers are correct. Number 1, 11 and 5 tenths. Number 2, 187 and 67 ten thousandths. Number 3, 460 and 13 hundredths. Alright, that's it. I hope that you learned today how to identify the place value and the value of the digit 
of a given decimal numbers and you know how to read and write decimal numbers through ten thousands